Tyler Eifert of the Bengals joining us. Uh, I'm taking uh, one of my Danettes to South Bend this weekend, Tyler. So give me give me some of the hot spots there for the USC Notre Dame game, if you can. Um, there's a place ca- called O'Rourke's. That's that's a pretty fun spot. Oh, so an uh, Irish bar in South Bend. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You could you could imagine that. Okay. That, that normally is pretty fun. Um, there's you know, I, I've I've driven past it. I remember, <laughs> of course. Uh, well, I'm driving to the games. There's this one house, like right on the corner of uh, Angela Notre Dame Ave, and it it looks like a good time. You might want to stop by there. I've I've uh, you know I've never been there, but it looks like a good time. They they throw a pretty pretty good party. So you never stopped by? Did, did you ever stop by just a tailgate? You know, before a game. Oh, no, that's the thing. Like we drive through all the tailgating areas. And we're looking out the window like we're about to go play a game. We're like, that looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, we're going to play a football game, so I uh, never stop by. What do you remember about uh, USC? Um, I remember they they used to talk a lot. Um, you know, it was pretty heated rivalry with us. Um, I think they beat us both times at home, and we beat them both times at home or at their place. Um, yeah, that's about it, though, really. But is it different? A different feel? Different, you know, the fact that USC's in town as opposed to anybody else? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, when we played them in Michigan, I mean, they were, for us, our two biggest rivals. I mean, every coach would always tell us, you know, it's like every everybody else's big game is when they play us, but you know, those were the two games that we would really considered rivalry games that you could really feel buzz around campus. You got uh, five touchdowns this year. You should have six. Describe the play that they they said that they didn't rule it a touchdown. Yeah, well, the play was actually only a one man route, and I was blocking, and um, Andy didn't. I, I turned around, and Andy still had the ball, so I just kind of ran to the flat, and he threw me the ball. I caught it, I mean, took three or four steps and or got four feet down and um, turned and reached the ball over the over the goal line. And uh, when I fell in, his foot hit the ball out of my hands. And, you know, they said they called it. They called it a touchdown on the field, but then it got overturned. Yeah, but I don't understand what a catch is anymore, Tyler. I know. I was, I was pretty confused, too. I was pretty convinced that, I mean, to, to reach the ball out, you know, you have to have uh, possession of it. And when they were reviewing it, it was kind of taking a while. So I I was asking guys on the sideline, like, that was a touchdown, right? I mean, what's taking so long? <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it went the other way. And, you know, good thing for us, it didn't didn't cost us the game. Yeah, but that's silly, completing the catch or the act. And, I, I, t- I mean, I figure you have the ball, you caught the ball, you break the plane, touchdown. I don't know why the, that uh, receiver, if he goes to the ground, then we're worried if he still has control of the football. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's confusing, and I, I, I always wonder about that play. If it if it were to happen in the field, I mean, if it, if that would have been called a fumble, or you know, there's a whole lot of what yeah. ifs and things like that. But especially when you when you cross the goal line, the play is normally over. You know, as long as you have possession, you cross the goal line. So. Uh, I don't know. We'll just deal with it. Yeah, you're five and zero, so there's no complaints here. Uh, what's the What's the difference aside from the record this year as opposed to previous years? Uh, I'm not not exactly sure. Last year I was I was hurt, and I think I'm pretty sure we started four and zero last year, um, or three and zero, and then we had a, we had an early buy. So you know, I wasn't really really a part of that last year. Just kind of watching. Uh, from my from my rehab station, but I think Andy Dalton really maturing. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of weird for me to say a third year guy saying that he's maturing, but he's <laughs> I think he's really stepped into the leadership role. Well, um, uh, on and off the field, McLovin uh, is our football expert and a friend of Andy Dalton's, and he says he's a friend of Andy Dalton's. McLovin, would you like to ask Tyler a, a question about your boyfriend, Andy Dalton? Hey, 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 hey. We're, I, he, Andy's hey, a great guy. Hey, what's up, Tyler? Andy's a great guy, right? Yeah, Andy's a great guy. <laughs> yeah. Great guy. I mean, uh, what did you think he was going to say? 
Yeah. No, Andy's a jerk. I honestly think one of the big reasons the Bengals have improved because there's a you healthy— You get one question yeah. for Tyler Eifert about Andy Dalton and not a statement. Well, I'm just saying a healthy Tyler Eifert makes a big difference this year, and maybe he was a little soft by what, not playing week one of that elbow question? injury last year. What, what, oh, God. <laughs> Tyler's got practice today. Limited time. What's the no. question for Tyler about Andy Dalton? So uh, what, what's he like in the locker room? <laughs> Um, he's just one of the guys, man. He he <laughs> likes to hang out, likes to. You don't have to answer that. Tyler. Likes to go out. I mean, <laughs> just just a normal dude. Uh, good guy. Do you want McLovin on your bandwagon, Tyler? Now that you you hear him on Andy Dalton's bandwagon. Yeah, I mean, is he is he a true fan? Has he, no. has he been with us when things weren't going well? I mean, um, I, don't... I think he's been a fan for a year and a half. By the way, you haven't been with the Bengals when things weren't going well. So <laughs> that is true. That is true. I As stepped. I stepped off the bandwagon a while ago. I, I'm, a, but I'm a professional, McLovin. That's no, no. I mean, Tyler has no idea what times were like in Cincinnati when things were bad. He's oh. been there with a winning team. Oh, I've heard about it. <laughs> I've read about it. Yeah. Did you know that you were hurt last year? I mean, when that happened, that play happened. You knew right away. Tr- you, you're in trouble. Uh, yeah, I knew right away, uh, especially judging from everybody that came over, about got about three feet from me, and then went, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, no. And, uh, so you're yeah, not seeing I, the injury. I actually injury. didn't even look at it. Oh, I just, just kind of knew something wasn't, wasn't good. Describe the, uh, the way it looked or the injury. Uh, I caught just – it was kind of like a pop pass and um, went to make a spin move and – uh, when I was going down, I put my hand down behind me, and uh, I mean, my elbow just kind of it just bent the wrong way and kind of collapsed underneath me. Yeah, but you don't know what it looks like until they come over to see how you're doing, and then their reaction made you realize that it must be pretty gruesome. Yeah, they they um, I forget the the medical term, but they or re- I think it's called reduce. They reduce it right there on the field where they. They kind of pull it out, no. twist it, and put it put it back in. Um, <laughs> so luckily, had a little adrenaline going. That actually didn't hurt that bad. Do they give you a towel to bite on, or do they give you any kind of pain medicine for that? No, I mean they they do it right there, right there on the field. And uh, the doctor said he's like, you you messed it up so bad that there was nothing holding it out of place. So it kind of just slid right back in. Man, and you can't scream. You're a football player. You're not allowed to do that, right? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to be like yelling and making a, <laughs> making a big scene. You just kind of kind of act like it's normal when it when it really does not feel good at all. See, I would have done this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I would have handled it, Tyler. Is that bad? Yeah, you you people definitely would have been making memes of you and all kinds <laughs> of those things on the internet. Um, yeah, so you you got to avoid that. Uh, good luck the rest of the season. Great start, and uh, we'll tell everyone uh, at that house in South Bend that you said hello. All right, sounds good. Thanks Thank for you, Tyler. Me. That's uh, Tyler Eifert of my Cincinnati Bengals.